Good morning. It is Monday morning, starting off a new week, and um, looks like the weather's going to be really nice for the next few days, but the uh, rain is returning <laughs> soon. So um, I hope you're able to get out and get some things done uh, over the next few days while we have uh, good weather and the, the mud is turning to dirt. Um, we are uh, today is is Easter Monday is, and the only reason I know that is because it came up on my my phone on my calendar. Uh, good morning, Miss Carly. Good to see you. Good morning, Dave. Good to see you. Or Dave or Teresa, whichever one of <laughs> whichever one. Um, oh, both of you. Okay. Good. I'm glad you're both able to join me. Uh, good to see you this morning. Um, so this morning I had a, a, a calendar thing pop up that said that today was Easter Monday, and I've never heard of Easter Monday before, um, but I guess it's a thing because it's on my calendar. But um, so yesterday was awesome. It was a great time of worship and fellowship. Um, if you did not make it yesterday, you really missed out on some um, great fellowship, um, some wonderful words uh, from our pastor um, on the resurrection of Christ and and the meaning of it all, and um, and how important the uh, resurrection is uh, to us as Christians, and uh, some great breakfast. The food was amazing. Stephen and my wife and um, Karen and several others uh, helped uh, put yesterday's breakfast together, and it was just a, a really good time of fellowship and, and great food. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone who participated in that, and uh, it was good seeing a lot of uh, new faces yesterday morning. Uh, we had some visitors from um, from California. We had uh, a new couple that has moved into town recently from Texas. Uh, it was great to see them and get to spend some time with them. Um, if you are not coming to church uh, for fellowship, uh, good morning, Jackie. Uh, uh, it's good to see you. And Joe, good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you're not able to, if you have not been able to come back or you have chosen for whatever reason not to come back to, to church for uh, regular services, you are really missing out because the Lord is doing a lot. He has uh, really uh, been working in, in our church family and um, and the fellowship time and the worship time and the, the words that we're, we are receiving through our pastor uh, from God uh, through his word has just been great. A uh, good time of growing and uh, learning in the Lord. So if you have not yet been able to uh, come back, um, I hope you can soon. Uh, next week after church, there will be a meeting for the, uh, the VBS team. Um, I know that there were a lot of empty um, um, slots on the sign-up sheet for the VBS. We need some workers. Uh, we need people to uh, teach the young people. And uh, there's some other positions, I believe, that were open as well. Uh, so if you think that you're going to uh, be able to help out with the VBS, <clears throat> um, next week after church, there will be a meeting. And I hope you can, you can attend church, first of all, but then... Uh, uh, come and, and stay for the uh, for the meeting for VBS. Uh, VBS is a is an important uh, ministry for the church. A time where we get to uh, um, just pour into the children of our community uh, the love of Christ and the truth of His salvation. And so it is a very important ministry. And uh, so. Um, we need to be praying for VBS as we are getting closer to our summertime and uh, pray for all of those who will be involved. And, and uh, so thank you for Lisa for getting things started with that and being willing to do it again this year. And we need to uh, 
pray for her as well as she's getting ready for this. So uh, good morning, Jan. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> so this morning is Monday, and uh, on Mondays, uh, we always uh, pray for those who are online, and uh, and so we are going to do that this morning. But before we do that, I want to uh, lift up prayers for all of those on our prayer list. Um, we have uh, Jeremy is still going through radiation treatment. We need to continue to pray for him. He did come to church yesterday, but then he started feeling um, a little bad and he had to go out and rest in the in the car. Uh, so continue to pray for Jeremy. Cindy, <clears throat> is, uh, she's still having problems with her back, and uh, we need to pray for her and for the doctors that have been uh, dealing with her situation. Uh, Ted is in the hospital, but I, uh, good morning, Pastor, good to see you. Um, but I believe he is, uh, the pastor said that he was coming home either today or tomorrow, so uh, praise God for that. Uh, I hope he can. And uh, Tiny, still in Rhone Highlands, um, we need to pray for her recovery so she can go home. Uh, we're still lifting up Elisa, who has uh, a tumor in her thyroid. And uh, let's pray for, for little Hannah and Miss Carlin, uh, who was uh, sick yesterday, had a fever. Um, I don't know how they're doing this morning, um, but if you could let us know. Um, Carly, that would be great, but uh, we will go ahead and lift them up this morning as well. And um, I believe that's all I have at the moment. We're still praying for Tony, of course, for his continued recovery. I did not see him yesterday. Um, and we all are also praying for um, salvation for Elijah, Jacob, Oren, Lisa, and uh, Arnie's wife. So if you uh, can put all these down on your prayer list as you spend time in prayer uh, personally that would be great and continue to pray for um, for all of these okay so there the uh, Hannah and Carolyn's uh, fevers have broke but they're still sick so let's lift up those young ladies to the Lord this morning let's go ahead and start out with a with prayer and then we'll we'll, we'll start praying down the line for um, oh yeah Thank you. Uh, my wife just reminded me. Uh, we need to pray for <clears throat> Michael DeMarc. Um, he has been sick the last few days. I'm not sure what it is. And uh, so we will, um, we need to lift up Michael. And um, so Joe is asking for prayers for their family. Um, they lost Tannis' brother in law last night uh, from heart failure. So, so sorry to hear that, Joe um, and Tannis. Uh, I hope um, that uh, the family can um, to can see God and His work through this uh, situation. It's always hard to lose someone in the family. Uh, we will be lifting uh, you all up in prayer. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll we'll pray for these um, that we have on our prayer list and. Um, let me, uh, I need to write this stuff down because otherwise I forget. Um, and after we pray for these on our prayer list, we will um, um, pray for all of you that are online now, and uh, then we'll close in the devotion. So let's go ahead and get started. Our Father, we praise you Lord you are an awesome God um, father we are we are amazed at all that you have done for us it's so hard to comprehend um, all that you are and um, we can't even begin to comprehend all that you are with your spoken word you put the stars in place you put the earth in place with your word you separated the waters from the land and created all of the trees and everything on the earth and all of the animals and man and woman with just your spoken word father you 
created all things and you gave us your word <clears throat> through your son Jesus Christ Father we praise you for that we praise you God for your salvation we praise you that you have not left us here to figure things out on our own to fend for ourselves to um, to try to understand life without instructions Father you provided your instruction you provided an example of your love and you provided the sacrifice that was required for us because of our rebellion God we praise you for your son Jesus we praise you for the blood that was shed for our sake so that we can have a relationship with you Father we thank you for this time of the year that um, and especially yesterday as we celebrate um, not the death of Christ but the resurrection uh, God that Christ not only died and took the wrath of your judgment on him and was buried in the tomb but but God that we celebrate his resurrection from the dead being the first fruit of all of us who will follow him in resurrection to new life God we praise you we thank you father for being so good to us we thank you Lord that because Christ is now seated at your right hand he intercedes on our behalf and so as we come to lift up these prayers this morning we pray father that you would um, hear our prayers that you will answer our prayers but God more than anything we pray your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven God we uh, we pray for uh, Jeremy now as he is uh, uh, still going through this difficult time in his life with uh, cancer father we know that you are the one that can bring healing to his body and we desire with all of our hearts for a miraculous healing for an instant healing of his body uh, but we know Lord that you are sovereign and you know everything that's going on with him and and you have chosen for him to walk through this for some reason um, we just lift him up to you father we pray that you would give him the strength and encouragement to walk through this this path that you have chosen for him father we pray that you would give him your grace and mercy and relieve any pain that he's dealing with in his body we pray for Catherine and Braden as they're um, dealing with this situation with Jeremy. We lift them up to you, Father. We pray your grace and your mercy on them. Father, we lift up Cindy. We pray for a healing touch on her back, Father. <clears throat> we pray that you would give the doctors wisdom in dealing with her situation and um, help them to know uh, what needs to be done. And, and God, that you would uh, bring healing either uh, through a miracle or, or through the work that the doctors are doing, Lord. God, we lift up Ted to you. We pray, Father, that you would continue to um, work in his life, Father. We pray that he will be able to come home soon and and uh, spend time with his family at home. We lift up Jean to you as, as she has um, been dealing with this situation with Ted for a while now. And, and we just pray your mercy on them, Father. Lord, we lift up Tiny to you. We pray that you would bring healing to her, um, to her mind, to her body, so that she would be able to return home and and uh, be able to live in her home uh, where uh, a, a greater and better healing can take place. Uh, Father, we lift up Elisa to you for this tumor that she has in her thyroid. We pray for healing for her, God. Um, and uh, for Hannah and Carlin, Lord, we lift them up to you. We pray your your uh, your grace and mercy on them as they are dealing with this um, sickness that they're going through. <clears throat> Father, we lift up Michael to you. We pray your blessings on him. We pray for healing in his body, Father. And uh, for um, Tannis' father, Lord, as they're dealing with this, uh, with the loss of a loved one. God, it is never easy to understand uh, what you're doing, your plan, your purpose, uh, but we know that um, that you are in control of all things. And so, Lord, we pray that uh, Tannis's family would see you, would 
see your grace in this um, in this passing and and father that you would just pour out your mercy on them as they're dealing with this loss in their family <clears throat> god we praise you that we can know without a doubt that our our prayers are heard and answered by you the almighty god that created all things father we praise you we thank you we lift up each of these to you father we pray your blessings on them and lord we lift up uh, elijah and jacob and oren lisa and, and arnie's wife uh, to you for salvation god we pray that you would soften their hearts so that they would humble themselves before you and understand that that they need you more than anything else lord we uh, we uh, pray father that you would uh, remove the blinders from their eyes that have blinded them from the truth of your word and cause them to come into the knowledge of your saving grace god we praise you and we thank you father we give you the glory in the name of jesus amen okay um so i am going to go ahead and just start going down the list of everyone that is online now and uh, if there's any other um prayer requests that you might have please uh, go ahead and just uh, add them to the comments there and and hopefully i will not miss them um, i am horrible at at seeing line by line i don't know why i end up skipping things and but um, if i miss you i apologize but uh, just know that god knows and uh, god hears your prayers and um and even if i miss it the um, the lord will know okay so um, let's begin. We'll start praying for um, for the pastor and Miss Carly. Excuse me, <clears throat> and um, and then we'll just go on down the line from there. <clears throat> our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you, God, for our pastor. Thank you for the blessing that he is to our church family. Thank you for the love that he has for you, and for your word. God, we pray that you would uh, just pour out your blessings on him. Continue to fill his cup to overflowing anoint his head with oil cover him with the blood of your son jesus fill him with the power of your holy spirit as he continues to lead our our church family to um, a greater understanding of of who you are and of who we are in you father we thank you for all that he's doing and we pray that you would uh, just continue to give him wisdom and understanding in your word as he shares it with us uh, each time we gather together lord we uh, lift up miss carly to you we thank you for her and for all that she does for our church family we pray your blessings on her father thank you uh, for uh, this young couple that uh, has come to our church family and is uh, leading at, at, in an example of your love and of your grace and mercy to our church family lord we praise you for them we pray your blessings on them and on their home and on their marriage and uh, we thank you, Lord, for uh, for all that they're doing. And, uh, Lord, we lift up uh, little Hannah and, and Miss Carlin to you, Father. We pray that you would bring healing to their bodies. We thank you for the blessing that they are in our lives, Father. Yeah, we lift up uh, David and Teresa. We thank you for them, Father. Thank you for, for um, bringing them to our church family. We thank you for Teresa, for all the work that she's been doing in the kitchen and and all the help that she gave yesterday. Um, Lord, we pray your blessings on them. We pray your blessings on their home, on their marriage, on their children and grandchildren. Lord, we lift them all up to you. We pray, Father, that you would uh, help David and Teresa to um, to come into a, a stronger, deeper relationship with you and, and greater knowledge and understanding of who you have called them to be. And, uh, Lord, that they would continue to desire to seek you out and to allow you to be Lord in their lives. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for them. God, I thank you for my wife. <clears throat> I pray your blessings on her. Thank you for for uh, blessing me so greatly, uh, so far uh, beyond anything I could ever deserve, Lord, through my wife. Um, you, I pray that you would uh, continue to uh, grow us in love with one another, grow us in love with you as we grow closer to you each day. I, I pray your blessings on her mind, on her on her brain, this, this thing that she's been dealing with for so long. Father, I pray, God, that you would bring healing to her, and that you would help her so that she uh, is no longer um, having trouble walking and, 
and driving, she loses her balance, difficulty to um, seeing in her left eye. Father, I, I pray, God, uh, the doctors are dumbfounded. They have no idea what's going on, but I know that you do, and I know that you can bring healing to her body if that's what your choice is, Father. We we pray for that, and we, uh, we thank you and praise you for what you're doing in us. And uh, God, I, um, I pray for this procedure that I'm going to be going through this week. I pray that you would guide the doctor's hands and, uh, and help them to uh, know exactly what they need to do. I pray that you would give them wisdom and understanding what, uh, what we're dealing with and, and know what to do to, uh, to bring healing to my body, Father. God, I thank you for Jackie. I thank you for um, for answering her prayers with her uh, grandchildren. God, we pray your continued blessings on on her and uh, on these children. <coughs> Excuse me, on these children. We pray, Father, that you would help her to be uh, the example of Christ to her grandchildren. Father, we pray that you would uh, pour out your blessings on their home and and all of her family. Uh, help her, Lord, to be. Um, all that you have called her to be as your daughter and uh, Lord that she would look to you for strength and and for healing and wisdom and uh, Lord that she would just uh, honor you in all that she does we thank you for her and for bringing her to be a part of our church family and God we lift up Jan to you thank you for her thank you for all the work that she does in our church family we uh, pray Lord that you would continue to use her and bless her and uh, continue to grow her in the knowledge and understanding of your word as she grows closer to you each day in her walk with you. God, we, uh, we thank you, Lord, for, um, for Joe and uh, for Tannis uh, joining us, being a part of our, of our devotion here this morning. We lift up their family to you, Father, as they're going through this difficult time. I pray for, for Joe and Tannis that you would um, bless them, uh, bless their family, and, uh, Lord, that you would draw them closer to you and into a deeper walk and in, in love uh, with you, with your word. And, Lord, that they would desire you to be the center of their lives and the Lord of all that is going on in them, Father. We praise you and uh, we lift these prayers up to you, Father. We, we thank you, God, that our prayers are heard and answered. And we give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so um, we are still reading out of uh, Unto the Hills with Billy Graham, and it is so hard to do this because I see it in the camera, but it's it's backwards for me, um, so it's kind of hard to get things lined up. And But um, Unto the Hills uh, by Billy Graham is what we're reading today, and um, I am actually reading yesterday's devotion uh, because it's it's kind of designed for uh, to be read the day after Easter, and so um, because this book was written many years ago and it wasn't and it's not lined up with the same dates that we are in today, but um, today's devotion is uh, out of First Corinthians chapter six. So if you have your Bibles and want to turn with me to First uh, Corinthians chapter six. Uh, if you do not have your Bibles, I have it here online if you're able to read that. And um, I am reading, if I can get my page up, there we go, uh, verses 9 through 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 14. <clears throat> and it says, Don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom? Do not be deceived. No sexually immoral people, idolaters, adulterers, or males who have sex with males, no thieves, greedy people, drunkards, verbally abusive people, or swindlers will inherit God's kingdom. Some of you used to be like this, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. <clears throat> Everything is permissible for me but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach for food, and God will do away with both of them. However, the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. God raised up the Lord, and will raise us up 
by his power. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so Billy Graham writes in his devotion today, it's uh, titled, The Resurrection is the Key. And he says, uh, the entire plan for the future has its key in the resurrection. Unless Christ was raised from the dead, there can be no kingdom and no returning king. When the disciples stood at the place where Jesus left this earth, which is called the place of ascension, they were given assurance by angels <clears throat> that the Christ of resurrection would be the Christ of returning glory. Acts 1 verse 11 says, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The resurrection is an event which prepares and confirms for us that future event when he will return again. <clears throat> yes, Jesus Christ is alive. Obviously, Christ's physical resurrection is an essential part of God's plan to save us. Have you given yourself to this living Christ? A woman wrote to us, to Billy Graham, and said, Last evening I was alone and watching television. I had no TV guide. Something urged me to turn the dial to the station where the gospel was being preached. I had been really wrestling with a great problem. I was and am, and am facing death and may or may not be helped through surgery. I had been putting off the operation because I was afraid and I, that I had been cut off from God. I began, really, I began to really seek the Lord. The message I heard was God's way of speaking to me and answering my prayers, and now I feel entirely at peace in my soul. If you trust the resurrected Christ as your Lord and Savior, he will be with you when you die and will give you life with him forever. Because of the re resurrection, you can be born again. Amen. So I want to thank you for joining me today, um, this morning, in our devotion. I hope you enjoy the day. It is supposed to be very nice out today. And, um, and for the next couple of days, uh, time to start mowing and, and getting the gardens ready. Um, God bless each of you. Thank you for joining me this morning. And I hope you have a great day.